What's up guys, it's Dino52 today, and today, I'm very happy to be back to do another playing a random level video, because I felt like it. Today I'm playing Proto Flicker by Ewok. So this is a collab that Ewok posted, it just came out a few days ago. It was verified by Swyborg, who is set to be the verifier of, I think Dynamicus, I think he's still verifying Dynamicus, but I'm not sure about that. So yeah, this came out uh, relatively recently, and the one thing that got me excited for was the song. The song for this is awesome. It's another Silent Room song, it's the guy who made an elf. So I was very excited for this, but that being said, I'm probably gonna go into here, uh, pitch shifter, and that's like, so we don't get the copyright head. So it's very kind of like click sinky bass, which is what I first noticed. So it is pretty difficult too, like for a difficulty range, I played this a bit already as you can see. I am confident this is like extended list, I'm not sure where in the extended list, but like probably mid extended list, so think like between Catalyze and, I don't know, what's another level that's low on the list? Artificial Ascent. In between Artificial and Catalyze, that's where I'd say this would place. Ooh, okay, so we got that click done. Yeah, see, like that jump, this looks like something straight out of congregation. I probably will be using a lot of speed hacks, because, yeah, I cannot play this for the life of me. Boom, there we go. Another congregation click. Uh, okay, so we fall there. It looks like you need to jump up top, but no. Yeah, that looks really hard. There we go. Oh, this wave. So this wave, it's very deceiving, I'll show you. This first, like... Okay, so that first bit isn't too difficult. This is where it gets hard. We'll do this on speed hacks. So there's these inputs. You go down like that, and you cannot hit those slopes either. This wave... This wave gives me PTSD from uh, Sharpshooter Corridor. That wave in Sharpshooter is so tight. Yeah, so as you can see, pretty tight wave clips, but like I said, this is supposed to be like extended list. This is very out of my skill range, very difficult. But it's pretty fun though, like I have to say. All right, I did the clip and then, Colorado, let's go. Impossible clip. Okay, so th this is the part that made me really hype for this level. This is Jenkins' part. If you know anything about Jenkins, Jenkins is like a goat in trading. But this part is awesome. I love this part. And it pl plays pretty well, too. Like, and like, it all like moves, too, and like... Oh yeah, this way, or this, yeah, this UFO is really fun. Like, and then you spam, and then it's like, it flows so nice. I love this part. But this part actually feels like probably my skill range. This part's pretty neat. This part, it's like, it's kind of using, but it has like the circles. It reminds me of that one, like, I think either Two Star or Auto by Over Defo. And it reminds me a lot of Star World. You, you know my history of Star World, but yeah, this part's pretty neat. I will say, this level for being pretty difficult is pretty fun. Like, I might go for this in the future. Maybe after, like, Make It Drop, To The Stars 2, maybe even Bloodbath, I might go after this. This level's really fun. Okay, so this is post-commentary diamond, and yeah, this is where the level gets bad. It goes downhill from here. But yeah, really tight timings. Like, this is a timing-based level and a half. Oh yeah, this would... Like, look at that. And, like, look, like... Yeah, I'm making it look easy, but that part's really hard. So like, at first, I, I thought, I thought you just fell into there and you clicked like, what I originally thought is I thought you would have to like, fall into here and then you'd like jump off this into here and then click those black orbs. Alright, so you have to jump over that platform and then into this and then it, it's kind of goofy. You have to like double click to the end too. I don't know how to do that. Um, yeah, hide pause menu. So like, you go boom and then like, that like it's so weird because like you turn into like a cube for a second and it's like a ball 
So like the alignment is so strange on that. I don't I don't know how to do it. It's like yeah, you just go in there and you just like hope. But there's like a blue orb in the middle that I think you like. But like then it like desaints because it's like a cube. Like it makes no sense. Like this part is where it, it tends to get more memory heavy. Like this level's been mostly like timing and stuff. This is the part where it gets a lot more memory heavy in my opinion. So you have to do that and then you like that. But you don't jump out of there. You just like. Can I not? That that UFO plays really well. Oh yeah, then welcome back, friends. This memory part is horrendous. Okay, so I'm just gonna tell myself right there because I did this memory part completely wrong. I did not get a single thing right. I missed a whole um size portal. So, like, half the part didn't work, and I had to, like, no-clip it. But just for the record, this is part of the part. You do the memory part like this. Uh, so, yeah, enough of uh, me being goofy. Please explain to me how this gameplay is a real thing. So this part's just, like... It's pretty simple orb combos, but it's pretty fun. This is where the quality of the level starts to go up again. After it to dipped at that memory part. So you like... Oh wait, oh there's a black orb in that portal, so you just like... And it's like hyper speed, and then... Ga gameplay. <laughs> so I think this is the end in... Yeah. Yeah, I honestly have no idea what this is. <laughs> the end thing. That's Proto Flicker. Oh yeah, this end string is really neat too. Yeah, so that's Proto Flicker. Uh, how many attempts is... That's a lot. For like two practice runs, a thousand attempts. Yeah, so this is definitely like relatively high um, extended list. So I think maybe like catalyzed difficulty on this one. It's pretty fun. It falls off at the end. I'm not gonna lie. I don't like a lot of like the memory stuff. And then like the end's kind of goofy. Like I tend not figure a lot of that out. I'm not sure if it's just like me having a still issue or like whatnot. But it's kind of strange at the end. But like overall, amazing operation. I hope this gets rated. This should be like at least a feature, if not epic. But this will definitely get rated, which is really nice. And I really want to see this rated, and I really want to see people beat it. That's what I'm excited about. So this is a really good level of recognition. So yeah, subscribe to uh, Swyboard to verify that. And yeah, see you guys next time. Bye. -bye. Let's I ain't never seen no muzzle on that, but it might be good First, though. My daddy know better. I'm about to get to him. Squirt it all around, and then I'm gonna rub it smooth oh, everywhere. Mustard. And what I'm Come doing on, is man. Now don't put no mustard on. You need to put a little seed on that thing. Stick to it. What? Man, come on, now. Get that pep off there. Come on, somebody come get this, man. Come on, now.